The Seattle Seahawks are 6-3 and three straight up and 3-5-1 and one against the spread after last week's push against Arizona. Extra rest has been a good betting angle coming out of Thursday night. But this is a Seattle team with a lot of problems. Russell Wilson is the captain that keeps this ship afloat with an offensive line that hasn't been much help and a defense that has been slowly regressing. Wilson has a 19 to 6 touchdown interception ratio with a 62.7% completion rate. Seattle's rushing attack would be among the worst in the NFL without Wilson's 5.7 yards per carry as the team's leading rusher. He still has some very good receiving options in Doug Baldwin, Jimmy Graham, and Paul Richardson, assuming he has time to find them. Another problem for Seattle has been inconsistency. The Seahawks have five games with at least 425 yards and four games with fewer than 315 yards. Strangely, they're only 3-2 and two in the games with at least 425 yards and 3-1 and one in the games with fewer than 315 yards. Injuries have really limited the depth of this offensive line as well. The defense is not immune to the injury bug either. Cam Chancellor's been banged up for most of the season. Earl Thomas was out last week. Richard Sherman's season is over with a torn Achilles. The IR list is getting long and the questionable list is basically just as long, including Frank Clark and Shaquille Griffin. The Seahawks are still holding the opposition to just five yards per play and have 15 takeaways. But the longer the season goes on, with this many players injured, the more we have to worry about the Seattle defense. The Seahawks are still third in opponent's completion percentage and 10th in adjusted net yards per pass attempt through it all. So the defense is still playing at a pretty high level. There are not a whole lot of good edges to be gained in this game. The line seems pretty accurate, but will give a slight nod to the Seattle Seahawks with the extra prep time to get some defensive guys back. The Falcons just are not as efficient as they need to be offensively. This looks like a frustrating game for totals players as well, as we could see a lot of yards, but both teams have some red zone issues. Our pick and prediction will be for the Seattle Seahawks at minus three. Click over now to BetDSI.com to get $100 free. When you sign up with a deposit today, you can get a 100% deposit bonus. That's $200 in betting action for just $100. Bucks. Start making cash right now with NFL or NCAA football betting. BetDSI.com has all your favorite sports to bet on today.